Respondeat Demiorgos by Thomas Edward Brown. Yes, it is hard, but not for you alone. You speak of cup and throne and all that separates me from you. It is not that you don't believe. It is but that you misconceive the work I have to do. No throne, no cup, nor down, but likest up, as from a deep black shaft I look to see the fabric of my own immensity. You have the temporal activity, and rejoice in sweet, articulate voice, tunes, songs. To me no less belongs the fixed, sad fashion of productiveness. You think that I am wise, or cunning, clever as a man is clever. You think all knowledge with me lies, from me must flow. I know not if I know, but this I know, I will work on forever. You fret because you are not this and that, and so you die. But I, who have not sat since first into the void I swam, obeying mine own laws, persist because I am but what I am. I am old and blind. I have no speech wherewith to reach your quick selecting ears. And yet I mark your tears. And yet I would be kind. And so I strain to speak as now. And in more cheerful vein you happily will allow I make my meaning fairly plain. Therefore it is I store such beauty in the clouds, and on the shore make foam flakes glisten. Therefore you have seen the sunset, therefore tis the green and lusty grass hath come to pass, and flame lies sparkling in the dews. And yet I cannot choose but do the same. I am no surgeon, I have no lancet, but I mingle sap for the buds, that they may burgeon and tingle with soft sweet throes of parturition vegetal. And so to all the surfaces I outward press, and hold the very brink of speech, that I would think speech must come next. But I can do no more. Wherefore I am not vexed, but you are, being perplexed with suppositions, scribbling over the text of natural life. And seeing that this is so, and that I cannot know, the innumerous ills, therefore I strew the hills and valleys with delight, that day or night, in sad or merry plight, you may catch sight of some sweet joy that thrills your heart. And what if I impart the same to frog or newt? What if I steep the root of some old stump in bright vermilion? And if the spider in his quaint pavilion catches a sunbeam where he thought a fly, ah, why should I not care for such? I, who make all things, know it is not much. And by analogy, I must suppose they have their woes like you. Therefore, I still must strew joys that may wait for centuries and light at last on Socrates or on the frog whose eyes you may have noticed full of bright surprise. Or have you not? Ah, then you only think of men. But but I would have no single creature miss one possible bliss. And this is certain. Never be afraid I love what I have made. I know this is not wit. This is not to be clever or anything whatever. You see, I am a servant. That is it. You've hit the mark. A servant for the other word. Why, you are Lord, if anyone is Lord.